Hello, a very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue, and a very warm welcome to the Scotty McClue Show. We're live global on Facebook Live. That's one of the world's great broadcast platforms. Welcome, 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 I say. Great to have you with us. We've only got one hour, one hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment for not just one nation. But for all nations, dinky do I say, you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. So welcome. Great to have you all with us. Now, lots to talk about tonight and as usual, so little time to do it in. So tap, 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 de tap on your um, keyboards or your devices or whatever you tap, 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 de tap on. Julianne Scott, dinky do, hello to you. Lovely to have you with us. Evening, Scotty, says Andrew Mackay. A very good evening to you, Andrew. Lovely to have you with us, of course. And tonight, what we're talking about, hello, Scotty boy. Hope all's well, my man, says Alan Beard. Dinky do to you, Alan. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky do, Scotty McClue, says Trisha McClear. Hi, ah, lovely to have you with us now and then. Uh, watching Happy 50th Show, says Ben Lucas. Yes, this is our 50th show. And uh, I think we've actually done more than that. I think we've done about 53. Um, but uh, officially, because I was away in a secret location for uh, a week or two, then uh, we didn't manage to uh, include these. We didn't include these shows. Hello, Scotty. I'm new to your show, says PJ Curry. Welcome, PJ Curry. Lovely to have you with us. You're very welcome. I spelled your name wrong. Sorry, says Julianne Scott. Julianne, I think there's more in the world to worry us than that. I shouldn't worry too much. Already shared, Scotty, says Andrew Mackay. First time for me says the wonderful Jim Hoy. It's the first time for all of us. Always, Jim. Uh, Alex Robertson, good evening. Good evening to you. One of our finest actors there. It's Grace here, your old Scott FM colleague, Dinky Doo, from the lovely Grace Boyle. Thank you, Grace. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo to you. And uh, Jim shared it. Hi, Scotty. The best in the business, says Stephen Buck McDowell. Stephen Buck McDowell. What a lovely thing to say. And Dinky Doo to you. I say, tremendous stuff. We're getting some great audiences. So build and build and build and build. And please just share and share and share and share and share all the time, guys. Also type, 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 de type. And uh, say things to your pals. Say, I'm watching Scotty McClue right now. Uh, like you years ago, but the single mothers, says Johnny Neboy. Absolutely, Johnny. Yes, indeed. You're a legend, says Trisha McAleer. You're a legend yourself, Trisha McAleer. I will tell you that for nothing. So there you go. Gordon Sterling, Scotty. Next weekend, the Glasgow Vintage Vehicle Trust. Open weekend. There we go. I'll be able to take my own car then, Gordon. Uh, you know, I actually have a vintage vehicle um, that uh, wasn't really meant to be a vintage vehicle. It just got that way by being on the earth for so long. Uh, hi, Scotty, from the Dunhamer, Robert Rogerson, down in Dumfries there. Dumfries, Dumfries. Uh, hi, Scotty, this is Tracy Campbell. Dinky do, Tracy. Lovely to have you with us. Now, guys, tonight's main subject for discussion, of course, what does democracy mean to you? There you are. Dinky do, Scotty, says John O'Rourke. Jim Clark, good evening, Scotty. Good evening to you, Jim. Lovely to have you with us. My mate's asking who cuts your hair, says VJ Dukersam. Um, VJ, it's a, a wonderful, wonderful, very talented hairdresser. One of the best in Scotland. So there we are. A lady called Lynn. And uh, you'll see her on here. So look out for a Lynn. And she's one of the finest hairdressers around. Uh, Spanish government brutality. What can we do to help the situation of those brutalized says William Rose people should not be being brutalized William Rose in this day and age this is supposed to be a democracy uh, if I'd been the Spanish government I said well just treat it as a bit of a fun treat it as a bit of a day off you know that sort of thing uh, come along and buy a few destination screens says uh, Gordon Stirling yes is there, a, is there a, an auto jumble there can you go and find a starter motor for a 1952 Austin Somerset? Uh, good evening, Scotty. A wee word for Anne Houston, who sadly passed last week. A lovely and unique wee woman. Colin Roger, thank you for that. Blessings to Anne. Condolences to her family. And we send her love and thank her for everything she did for people 
with her wonderful life. So there we are. Bless her. Hi, Tony. Is it Jim Hoy? Yes, indeed. Gary Crossan is watching. Thank you, do, Gary. If you've all just joined us, those of you who've never, ever seen me before, maybe you're an alien life form from another planet, then I'm Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and, of course, the first lord of the internet and the world's most humble man. Excellent stuff. Do you get fake profiles asking you to watch the webcams? Says VG Dukram. Uh, I don't bother. Um, I'm too busy with my own webcam, VG. Uh, hey, Jimbo, says Tony Higgins. You guys are talking to each other. I like that. I'm just watching it all happening here in the background. Fantastic. I've just posted uh, about uh, seven minutes ago and put Scotty live in five minutes. Show 50. Five minutes. Uh, do you have an angle drive for a Cummins L10 engine? Says Golden. No, I don't actually. Uh, do you have an air bottle for a Glenifer diesel? Uh, <laughs> uh, where is Scotty? Says Jim Hoy. What are you talking about, Jim Hoy? I am sitting here, uh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Gordon, fantastic for the auto jumbo. That is just amazing. Do you have one of these thick fan belts for the A70 Hereford? Um, hey, Kevin, says Julianne Scott. Tremendous. God, and I think you're actually a Volvo man. Is that right? I can go back when the 122 was new. Uh, so there you go. The wind blew and the skaters, the skaters flew. Not the skaters, Michael McGuigan. Uh, hey, Kevin. Excellent stuff. So there you are. Now, lots to talk about tonight, guys. So get your subject down, what you want to talk about, and I will deal with that for you. And, of course, uh, the Catalonians. What do you think about that? What's going on in Spain at the moment? Dinky do, says Ian Walker. Dinky do to you, Ian Walker. Thank you, Ian Walker, for all your lovely photographs of Scotland, Sky, and Glen Cole, and all that sort of thing. Whose coat is that jacket, says Julianne Scott. I love it, Julianne Scott. That was a friend of mine I was talking to. And uh, she is Welsh as well, Jane. And she was saying, whose coat is that jacket? Uh, take your jumper off just now. Put it on later and you'll get the benefit. So there you are. Raffle your bonnet, says Gordon McRitchie. Are we in raffle yourself? Gordon McRitchie. What's your thoughts on Barcelona? I think the SNP will end up putting us Scots into a hellish place like that. Dinky do, says Johnny M. Linney. Well, I think, to be honest, people link the SNP as being the party for independence. And I think that's true. But there's a lot of Scottish people who just like independence. So there you are. Uh, Scotty, nay bother, says Ian Walker. Uh, what's your stance on cyclists on the road, says Martin Holden. Well, as long as they behave themselves, I've noticed that cyclists are getting cheekier all the time. They're thinking, well, we're official road users now, so we can do what we like. So you've got to pull away out and let them all pass. Sometimes it's two abreast, four abreast, all that sort of thing. And, of course, um, although it's push bike. They're not paying any road tax or insurance. I don't think there's any insurance. And uh, I was informed that some cycles can go pretty fast. We'd have a right in thinking that they can do up to 60, 70 miles an hour. So there we are. Tell me what you think about that. Wadge. Wadge, dink you do. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, Wadge there down in uh, Sheffield or Manchester. Wadge, remind me, remind me. Women drivers, says Gordon Ritchie. Uh, what do you prefer, a tank top or a cardigan? So, Jim Hoy, I quite like McCarty because you've got your pockets there. You see, you don't have the pockets in the tank top. That's your problem with that. But I can remember dancing with my tank top on at the 60s evenings, you know. Uh, how's the Instagram account going, Scotty, says Andrew McKay. Well, Andrew McKay, we only started Instagram last week. And I don't know who's got Scotty McClue. Probably me. Um, but uh, it's Scotty McClue 1. So there you are. So if you want to go on to Scotty McClue 1, follow me on Instagram. If you're a business person, on to LinkedIn. Every single one of you put Scotty McClue YouTube uh, channel into your search engine, and you'll get the YouTube channel. There's uh, well over 300 videos there. Fantastic. Catalonia gives 20% of income to Spain. They're not letting go in. Well, Ian Walker, what do we give in Scotland? I mean, is it something like... 40 or 60 percent, that sort of stuff. Who knows? Scotty, have you slept in for work, says Jim Hoy. Why do you ask, Jim? I don't recall ever sleeping in for work, thank goodness. My bike does about 10 miles per hour, Scotty, but I'm not very fit, 
says Gary Crossan. Well, Gary, you get fit. You get like McClue and be uh, a black belt in karaoke. Uh, the bikes with no high vis on drivers can't see you, says Michael McGuigan. Well, 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 Michael. These are things you don't. I see. I don't do high speed cycling anymore. I used to be very, very fond of uh, of riding the old bike as we say but um i i don't do that anymore uh, so there you are but you can tell us what you think i have been told that they do up to 60 miles an hour but other people might know better wadge says uh, he's laughing here didn't you do wadge always lovely to have you with us i can tell you that if you've just joined us you're watching scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster first lord of the internet and of course the world's most humble man and we are live on the big one facebook live broadcasting globally to the world what do you think of taxi drivers says kevin said right they make serious 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 money kevin i wish i could afford to be a taxi driver because they make masses and masses of money so there we are. A uh, dinky do black belt and karaoke is, says Scott Biddy. Dinky do Scott Biddy, lovely to have you with us. Good evening, friends, says Ron Stewart. Dinky do to you, Ron. Lovely to have you with us, of course, as well. So, what's happening in Catalonia? What do you think of what's going on there? Do tell us. Love it, says Peter Ewing. Dinky do, Peter. Lovely to have you with us. Great audience last week. Um, coming up for the 5,000 mark. Tremendous. So there you are. We had the midweek pop up, of course. Great. I think that's coming up for about a thousand. So uh, share and share and share everything with Scotty McClue on it. If you're on Twitter, follow Scotty McClue and retweet everything Scotty McClue says and does. And if you run one of the big companies, one of the big television and radio companies, and you see a tweet from Scotty McClue, retweet it. Otherwise, you lose out on the publicity from that tweet which is substantial as you know uh, i think we last recorded uh, well over 125,000 in 24 hours thought that was good gallus as always scotty says coming west excellent stuff dan mcwilliams just going to sit back and take the show in only comment for me tonight until i've taken scotty off the naughty step what am i on the naughty step for now dan mcwilliams we we're discussing rudolf hess and uh, we had Victor Meldrew on saying, look, uh, what were we discussing it for? It didn't happen. <laughs> All that sort of stuff. Remember, history gets revised and history needs to be looked at. So there you go. So do you think history would have been different if Rudolf Hess had actually arrived at his destination? I also noticed that uh, in documentaries about Hess, they say he was miles away from where he was heading Dungaval House in Ayrshire. He was, he was minutes away as the crow flies, which is how an aircraft would fly. Think about it. So there we are. And the landing lights were on as well. Whitworth Spanners for sale, apply within. Whitworth, do you have AFs across the flats, of course? Do you have the BSFs? Do you have any of that going, Gordon? Very, very important. Uh, I think we'd need a Whitworth, would we not, for a side valve cylinder head? Tell us about that one. Maybe an, an Austin 10 or a 12. Um, share Scotty, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, says Giuseppe Bacchetti. Giuseppe Bacchetti, dinky do to you. Lovely to have you with us. Um, I'm sorry I had to remove one of your comments. It was nothing personal. It was just the comment it was a wee bit coarse because there's a lot of young people watch the Scotty McClure show. Share, says Ron Stewart. Brilliant, fantastic. In a couple of minutes, we'll all be sharing. Uh, Scotty, the wee place in Sky Eco Village with an eco toilet even Tarzan would think twice about using that says <laughs> Ian Walker fantastic you can't bit a bit of the eco I always worry about these um uh, toilets that they put in the street with the the door that swung open and shut because I thought you'll just be sitting down when bang the door opens you know and hello how are you all getting on all that sort of stuff same in the trains some of these doors I'm never sure uh, if you're going uh, if you're going on a train uh, you know, if you're if you're going when you're going on a train, you know what I mean. You think, oh, that door doesn't he fly open? Uh, do the spanners fit a Harley Gordon? Says, <laughs> says says William Rose. Fantastic. The Rose can Harley. Uh, the vacuum brake adjusters two seven five, including the free grease gun. Now, Gordon, is there any information on rod brakes on some of the the bigger cars? 
like the cloud, stuff like that. We Warty says, hi, Scotty. Hi, We Warty Dinky do. Uh, fantastic. Good enough. Gordon Sterling there, tremendous. I hope you took that comment back about me being pro-unionist and all that, Gordon. Mm -hmm. ha -ha. <laughs> Sorted you out there. Um, and I hope you're keeping up your bagpipe playing. That was what I thought uh, lets these marches down a wee bit. A wee bit of discipline. So we should maybe have a, a march marshal who says, look, let's get the flags in line and let's uh, march properly or walk properly even. And, um, you know, if you've got a piper who's out of tune, just take some corks and bung up the drones. And so there we are. Fantastic. Shout out for me, Scotty. This is Jonathan Scott Donegan. Of course, Jonathan Scott Donegan, not a problem, Rap Hill. All right, Scotty, I hope you're well. M8 now. I would like to ban the word mate from certainly from the Scottish language and from uh, UK, from British language. Remember, there's no such country as Britain, so you can't actually, you can only be British if you're from Scotland or from uh, Northern Ireland or from England or from Wales. So there you are, very important point that you must all take that on board, guys. Law, I mind when we were on the bus to Cardiff, uh, the Wayne went to use the toilet and the door flew open and uh, he fell off the pan, says Angie. Poor wee soul. Oh, bless Angie, says Julian Scott. They're all watching down there in Hlanfire. Uh, what did you have for dinner this evening, Scotty? Says wee Waddy. I had the banana tonight, Waddy. The smashed banana uh, on a piece of toast. Very, very nice. And very good for your potassium, of course. Check out your potassium requirement. Prince Albert, his dad was his uncle. His dad married his niece. Uh, so there we are. Um, monarchy in a nutshell. Ian Walker, it doesn't matter about any of that. We need the monarchy. You need a proper head of state. You cannot have these politicians uh, rilling the roost and shouting the odds. It's all very well for them to do the backroom stuff. But remember, they are Her Majesty's government, Her Majesty's opposition. Her Majesty's Government Scotland. So the Queen is absolutely pivotal. Royalty will remain for I. That's what I say. What's your thoughts on cross dressing, says Johnny M. Linney? Never dress when you're cross, because by the time you've come to your senses, you might think, I don't know why I put this on. I was just angry at the time. So there you are. So don't dress when you're cross, I say. Um, I want to have your babies, Scotty, says Mahir Peveral. Thank you, Mahir. What a lovely thing to say. Uh, haggis pie out of the Scott made I had for dinner. Oh, advertising, George, very good. Other brands are available of haggis pie, of course, as well. Lol, I'll crack the jokes, says Ian Walker. So there you are. I think I've already done it, Ian. So there you go. Not a problem. That's tonight's joke. What did you have for breakfast? Breakfast this morning, we had um, a slice of, uh, of uh, cheddar cheese on toast for breakfast this morning. So there you are. And I also had some nuts and some pumpkin seeds. I thought that was rather good. And uh, one or two sultanas. So there you go. See, never a dull moment. Uh, I, Ron, it's a lot better, thanks, says Angie Thompson, everybody having a conversation with themselves. Now, look at the time. We're away past share time. 18 minutes past 10 I've got. So can we all share, 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 share. Also, can we type, 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 type. I'm watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, live on Facebook Live. Take a right click of my page and pop it on to the bottom and send the whole lot round. Send it packing. That's what we're needing. Why are the Spanish royal family keeping quiet about Catalonia? Um, well, they're probably like all monarchists. They're um, apolitical and they don't want to stick their oar in. Because remember, um, you know, for a long, long time, um, it was a dictatorship. It was a republic in Spain under Franco, Franco, and I remember the night, Franco, il molte, there you are, he passed away, and people were uh, delighted about that, so there you are, very interesting, and uh, what about these people, Eurocar parks, um, and all that sort of stuff, parking fees, if you outstay your visit, is this legal in Scotland, um, I don't know, I wouldn't uh, uh, want to discuss any particular company with you, of course, but the whole car parking thing, I remember clamping came in, 
and very quickly the Scots put a stop to that. So there you are. You see, the lovely thing about Scots, they don't like unfairness. So they understand unfairness. I don't like it. Why would you ban the word mate, Scotty, says Steve Burrows? We don't like it, Stephen. It's used in a kind of rude way. I um, was at the petrol pumps recently, and there was a guy behind me who was obviously a taxi driver, and I went in to pay, and he got out, and he goes, Oh, mate, mate, can't you move your motor? I, I need to get working, I'm a taxi. And I thought, don't you talk to me like that. We've not even been formally introduced. And in a way, your, your taxi will be getting placed very, very shortly. So you don't call me mate unless you know me very well or we serve together either in the Royal Navy or the Merchant Navy. Tut, tut, tutity, tut, 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 tut. Uh, how's the hunt for the new station going on, Scotty? Um, George, it goes on all the time. I get um, lots of explanations, as I say, from very, very senior people that say, Scotty, can you just bear with us? Because we're wading through a lot of stuff at the moment. We do want the show. So that's always good. So there you are. Uh, an ambassador for free speech like your good self shouldn't be calling for the ban of any what? Never mind a term of endearment with respect, Scotty, said Johnny Rook. Johnny Rook, mate's not used as a term of endearment in Scotland. Yes, it's it's used. Would be better using my friend. Hello, my friend, or my friend, my friend. Uh, so there we are. Um, did you serve in the totties and gravy, Scott? Says we worry. Well, I'll leave that up to you to find out. Um, I was called dull by a guy in a clothes shop, old enough to be his mum. Hate that. All right, mate. Stuff when you don't know people. Absolutely. And I don't know what you think of doll. In Glasgow, we're hen. So, you know, you'd say to your wife, gonna make me a wee cup of tea, hen. So there you are. But if you say it to the wrong missus, you end up wearing it. So there you go, end up wearing the tea. Uh, not that I'm implying that, of course. No violence. Louis Faber, Ira, how are you doing? And uh, evening to you. Evening, Scotty, says, Kira Boy Higgins, Shelley McRobbie, excited for our radio chat. Send your message to finalise the details. Yes, now Shelley McRobbie, put up what we are doing here. Scotty McClue is going to be interviewed by the wonderful Shelley McRobbie, the ubiquitous Shelley McRobbie, and we're going to be interviewed on Telstar Radio around 8 o'clock this Tuesday evening. Have I got that right, Shelley McRobbie? So get yourselves on to Telstar Radio and look for Shelley McRobbie's show Tuesday nights from 7 o'clock and at 8 o'clock Old McClure will be popping up for some serious chit-chat. So there we are. And uh, should we change hello mate to yo dog, says uh, Kevin Wibley. <laughs> See how you get on with that, Kevin. Good luck with that, yo dog. Uh, good evening, Scotty from Barnsley. Enjoying your show as always. There's Lee Fern, and he's in Barnsley. Fantastic. We love Barnsley. So there we are, up the up the market gate. Isn't that right? Uh, so there you are. Uh, what about a up me dog? Says Steve Burrows. Yes, now that's a nice one. When I was broadcasting to Nottingham in the Midlands, we all thought of a up me dog. All right, me dog. No problem. Well, that's a nice one. I like that one. And I like the way Yorkshire people call everybody love. All right, lovey. Yeah, no problem, love. Yes. I, I quite like that as well. That's nice. But this mate thing, I'm just not too sure about. Uh, yes, Shelley McRobbie says, Radio Telstar, Tuesday, 8 p.m. The scene with Shelley. Special guest, Scotty McClue. All the details will be up on the Facebook page. So get yourselves on to Radio Telstar. Also guys, get yourself on to Great Yorkshire Radio, one of the finest stations in the world, right? And of course, surprise, surprise, it's all about Yorkshire. But there's something there for everyone. Great Yorkshire Radio, very, very, very professional radio station. Just what we're looking for nowadays. Lots of superb songs, great personality presenters and uh, I think you'll even catch a bit of Scotty McClure on the Facebook there. And uh, what do you think of the disruption? 
the great Scottish run causes in Glasgow. Well, George, I thought you meant the disruption of 1843, when uh, the uh, churches all split and the free church came into being, and the United Free, uh, all that sort of thing. Um, I'm no one's dog, says Kevin Wibley. Oh, all right, me dog, no problem. And the <laughs> tremendous Gordon Stilling, 225 R10 radios with 13 mm tread, 395 free fitting and balancing. Is that a good price, Gordon? I'm not up to date with the R10s. Uh, mine's were 525 by 16s. Quite narrow. Had to watch yourself cornering over 35. Well, over 30, 25. You cornered over 25. You had to be a wee bit careful. And of course, the little round Austin pedals. Remember them? Uh, so they are 525 by 16s. Imagine about that. Anyway, 225 R10 radials, 13 mm tread, 395, free fitting and balancing. What we might do is start to, int to introduce the Scotty McClue auctions. <laughs> How about that? There we are for the Tars now. What can we say? Going at 395, can we say 400, 410, 420, 415? <laughs> That's um, marvellous stuff, right, Gordon? If Ruth Davidson is running for leader of the Tories, it'll be like Germany in the 30s, says <laughs> Ian Walker. I don't think she, she'll be running as leader for the Tories in actual fact. Um, I was watching her tonight talking about all that we're better together stuff. Sorry, Ruthie, I cannot go along with that one. Yeah, I certainly cannot, uh, you know, because we've tried it for 310 years. I think that's a reasonable trial period for any uh, political ideal. There we are. 300, if it doesn't work after 310 years, chuck it, I say. I might even say that to Robert the Bruce. That's how strong... I feel about that one. Uh, any North Lanarkshire people who are not unhappy with our new recycling carry on more bins than can fit in most bin sheds now. I know you pass a house and I thought it was a bin sale. I thought, oh, look at all the, must be a bin sale. Look at all the different colours. that lovely? Then your own coons will come along and say, there you go. There you go, big man. More bins. Fantastic. You've got the cardboard. You've got the grey bin for the household rubbish. Best thing in Barnes is the bus out to Scotland, says George Mullen. George Mullen! Scotty McClure lived in Barnsley. Lovely part at World. Fantastic. Woodsboro. All that stuff in your sin, you know. Uh, it's no joke, Jim Hoy, and not a funny one, says Gary Crossan. Uh, so there we are. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's pure. Carry on with the bins. Says Mark Lennon, don't go up to the bins. On the side, breaker, breaker, what's your 20 good buddy need? An eyeball got a kit 40. Aye, the old CB radio, Ian Walker. There we go. What am I hitting you with, Big Ian? Give us one nine for a rig check, over. So there we go. It's uh, pure carry on. Absolutely. It most certainly is. If you've just joined us, folks, coming up for half past ten. We've only got half an hour of the world's top talk show. And, of course, we are live on Facebook Live. That is the big one. Share and share and share and share and share all week. Listen to all the pop-ups. Uh, that sort of thing. We did a pop-up on Periscope. Listen to the Periscopes if you can. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on different Facebook pages. Scotty McClue, scotty-mcclue.com. Uh, Dinky Do, Scotty McClue's operative page. Scotty McClue's fan page. The Scotty McClue fan group. That's all Facebook stuff. And then, of course, you're on to LinkedIn for the business side of it. On the side, Breaker Breaker, what's your 20 good buddy? Need an eyeball, got Kit 40. North Lanarkshire, yes, a bit of a joke, all the bins. And uh, empty into one bin truck, says Angie. No, I think, Angie, it's several bin trucks, actually. So there we are, the, the different one comes around. You've got the brown bin for any garden waste. Bring back Annabelle Goldie, I see. So there we are, says Gordon Sterling. Yes, a fantastic lady, Annabelle, in charge of the Tories in Scotland. She was a very, very proper lady and all that sort of stuff. Yes, we, we liked Annabelle, definitely. Uh, good morning, Scotty from Australia. So is Erica Mile. So uh, are you just waking up, Erica? Or have you been up and gone for a run and had breakfast? Fantastic. What do you think of the Uber story, says George Mullen? Well, there you are. So it's, a, it's an interesting one, isn't it, um, George Mullen? But uh, you've got to do things properly, 
Um, I wonder how that would go down with the, the black hacks in Glasgow. Hello there, Scotty. You going to give us a tune with the box tonight, says Gordon Robertson. Uh, no, everybody will be glad to hear I'm not Gordon, simply because I don't think I've got the box. No, I think the box is, the box is L square tonight. There you are. Uh, what happened to your mittens, Scotty? I think the mittens are about, I'm sure we've still got the mittens. Let me just, just bear with me. Well, I'll see if we can check out the mittens. Um, they're about somewhere. They definitely are. We had them, but um, I, uh, I don't wear them so much now, as they are terribly hot, very, very hot in the studio. Uh, Jim Robin, hi, Scotty, from British Columbia. Dinky-doo, dinky-doo to you, Jim Robin, out in British Columbia, in Canada. In Canada there, fantastic. Do let me know where you're watching, guys. And if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. It's Scotty McClue with the World's Top Talk Show. We're live on Facebook Live, the world's top platform for broadcasting live on the internet. Tremendous stuff. Uh, we've got a wheelie bin, uh, a plastic recycle, a cardboard recycle, a glass recycle, a food recycle, a paper and batteries as well. Food recycle, everything apart from wheelie bin gets emptied once a week, says Julianne Scott down in Wales. So they're very good at dealing with the rubbish down in Wales, I say. Uh, excellent stuff. How's the fox, Scotty? Still visiting McClure Towers? Excellent stuff, yes. Um, why has no one got you on the radio by now, Scotty? You're a legend, says Stevie McKenzie. If you watch this week's pop-up, I actually say to radio owners and operators, I say, don't panic about the fees. Because what happens is that I look at me broadcasting and they say, he would cost a fortune. You'll never get Scotty McClure. You'll not get Scotty McClure under 100k. So there we are. What I'm saying to you is, let's discuss the fees. Scotty McClure has always been very equable in fees because I know you can't take it with you. So I've never been greedy. I've never been a greedy man, right? Because I know when I when I go, you know, whether they're going to uh, take me up to the creme or whatever, you can't burn the money or or shove it in the box with you or anything like that. So Scotty McClure has always been very equitable on fees. So don't panic if you're sitting in the boardroom going, we want the audience, but can we afford Scotty McClure? Always remember the big media mogul when his programmer went to him and said, can we afford Scotty McClure? And he said, can we afford not to have Scotty McClure? They are wonderful. <clears throat> Hi, Scotty. Did you hear me in the radio yesterday morning? What did you think, Tony Mac? Tony Mac, you are a broadcaster. Press on with that, my boy. That's what I say. And you can get McClure on your show. Uh, first October, pure boiling, says Jim Robin. Absolutely, Jim Robin. Very, very hot. Although, we have a syndrome over here. If you've got a dog and you decide to walk your... Oh, better keep it quiet. You decide to W-A-L-K your D-O-G. Right, I have to watch because the Labrador hears everything, you know. Labrador ears. He's got hearing like a dog, and um, he's got hearing like a like a, a, a retriever, you know. So I've I've got to keep my voice down. Anyway, when you W A L K your D O G, um, on comes the rain, and then when you go back into your house, uh, with the D O G, the pair of you are absolutely soaked. I got caught in a rainstorm tonight. It was smearing when I went out. A wee smear of rain. And then did it came. Uh, hi, Scotty. Yes, 1st of October, pure boiling in Canada. Um, it must be hellish confusing for the bin rakers, says Gordon Robertson. I absolutely know. What bin do you put your batteries in then? Tell us that one. What, what, what one's that if you don't have a battery bin? Happy 50, Scotty, says Jim Robin. 50 shows, James. I think it's more than that. I think we've done 52 or 53. But uh, we'll see after 52 if we keep it going. What people think. We'll put it out to the nation. See what they like. Bob Huckins joined us. He's watching. Dinky do. Bob, lovely to have you with us. You'd be great on Heaven FM. What a talk show. That will be, says Andrew Mackay. Absolutely. We'll get up there with a whole lot of them. So there we are. Maybe have God on. Is it your birthday, says VJ? No. It's my 50th Facebook Live one hour show. So there we are. Just over a year. Uh, since my friend phoned uh, 26th of September last year said have you tried Facebook live and I tentatively tried it 
and we've never looked back so there we are and i think um, millions have certainly seen the facebook live show so there you go tremendous stuff uh, scotty marshall law and the tanks will be soon be in catalonia that's their only option says ian walker why would you want to do that though ian why not just let the people speak you know it's very strange it's called democracy until the government don't like something that the people want and then you've got a problem you know so uh, there we are uh, isn't it radio one's birthday also says ian walker yes radio one been going for 50 years <coughs> incredible and i remember it i actually remember it starting remember the end of the pirates there uh, there we are diggy lawns scotty tops the lot bravo well in fairness to you Lawrence, when would you ever get this on television that's what i'm saying the television companies need to wake up and smell the coffee wakey wakey i look at some of these uh, digital channels and i think to themselves get my clue on you know there we go um uh, uh, do you ever see fat bob from sky fm days never cammy never ever ever clap my lamps on him don't know what happened to him and um, he just sort of disappeared from the scene. And that was that. Uh, Diggy, uh, regards from uh, Helen uh, MacDonald of Donach, of course. Um, she'll be asking for you. And uh, Mrs. Major Stewart of Java, of course. Uh, they'll be looking for you. Um, I'm sure you'll have many more shows on Facebook before you know it. It'll be your 100th show, says Erica Meyer. Erica, it's certainly been a wonderful, wonderful revelation. And a great discovery so there you are tremendous facebook live of course and it all happens scotty i have to go now i have a father mcgrath i'm off to have a father mcgrath good mccare you take care of yourself and uh, bless you i say dinky do and uh, i was going to say koashin as father mcgrath koashin but um, yes i get it now uh, there's no radio shows these days it's a real shame says stevie uh, father andy and of course yourself you were always the best though thank you very much stevie you didn't have to say that but what a lovely thing to say gordon robertson says oops oops indeed we are late again with the sharing can every single one of you share 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 Share, share, and type, 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 type. I'm watching Scotty McClue live on Facebook Live with the world's top talk show just for you, Dinky Do, the first lord of the internet and the world's most humble man. Uh, I don't want to do, Scotty. I'm in Bear's Den. I'd have to get a loan off the credit union uh, to send the tanks over there. <laughs> <coughs> Scotty, you should do another audience with Scotty McClue. I was at the Cumbernauld one in the days gone by. It was brill. Rap, that might be an idea. And I also even wondered about a slightly different audience with Scotty McClue. Slightly more polite one for the WI, uh, the WRI, the the um, women's meetings, the um, the church nights, the socials, all that sort of stuff. And maybe do an evening with Scotty McClue. Not, not perhaps just at that sort of cosy cosy level but a more intimate chat if you know what i mean if you'll pardon the use of the word intimate just you know sitting there having a blather with people and explaining uh you know what sort of things have happened to me over the last 40 years and certainly the last 25 years of the scotty McClure shows how's the laird of thrums uh, is he over his problems i hope well i don't know uh, i saw him uh, going far or stray quite recently Dougie. so um you know i don't know if he's going to pop into glen Calla castle uh, on the way uh scotty the wee pope guy's off awfully quiet on catalonia very suspicious says Ian walker well it depends on when the church want to wade in you see i think the church you know i get very annoyed when people say oh the church the church shouldn't be involved in politics what was jesus all about the footsteps of the master who overturned the tables of the money lenders so if you serve christ and you serve god get out there and put your tuppence worth in big style that's why i say to all the church leaders then your churches will be full um so what have we got what are your thoughts on the catalonian independence are you for or against vj it's not my fight it's not my 
battle. But it's very, very interesting to see the reactions to it. So there you are. But if I was for it or against it, then I certainly wouldn't be interested in anything violent. So there you go. I can tell you that. Um, so there you are. Um, Scotty, do you remember the time Nick Abbott was live on his program? And he called you up live on your program. Rivalry at its best, Scotty. Yes, I remember it. It was a Friday night. And he was on a station called Virgin. And uh, that's right, was it? Now, what was Virgin's frequency? It was a medium wave station. And I was on a medium wave station. I was on Red Rose Gold, 9.99 a.m. And uh, we got going on that. It was brilliant. Scotty, any chance of an extra hour of entertainment from yourself on Sundays with the long winter nights ahead, says Paul McCulley. Well, we'll see how we go. A lot of people, an hour of Scotty McClue is more than enough. Maybe an hour too long for a lot of people. But on the other hand, people are shouting out, for quality broadcasting. And if there's one thing Scotty McClure can do, it's quality broadcasting. So there you are. That's why we're the world's top broadcaster, first lord of the internet, and the world's most humble man. Church picking sides, the richest side wins, says Ian Walker. Well, it shouldn't do, because Christ was for the poor. So there we are. How much in the pot at the moment, says Ron Stewart? I think Ron, £460 on the GoFundMe, gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. But we've got a good bit more in the PayPal. So a lot of people are enjoying the PayPal. PayPal.me forward slash Scotty McClue, all one word. Glen Cala being rebuilt by the We Free branch in Milgai. Written on the train, of course, Doogie, as you know. And um, my battery's flat. See you next week, says Jim Hoy. Yes, give your battery a wee pump up and we'll get you going. Can we cut the show back 29 minutes for the winter? I'm trying for a baby, says Gordon Stilling. I think you'd probably need to speak to your missus about that, Gordon. I don't think you'll manage it on your dud. But you never know. Um, what about the baby Austin? Would that not suit you? The wee A35. They're, they're worth fortunes now. I used to pick them up for a tenner. <laughs> uh, the Basque people will now have a referendum. Spain will be like the old Yugoslavia. I know. A canny spell, smell, spell, says Ian Walker. Uh, we need Scotty, 24 7 365, says Colin Brown. Why don't you make a Facebook Live exercise video, Scotty? Yes, I might do that. Get yourself fat with Scotty McClue. Uh, hi, Scotty. I nearly drove into a sinkhole today in Govan, and I got stuck in, I think, the roads are a disgrace. What do you think, says Tony Mac. Well, did you see, um, what's it called in the BBC tonight? Country File. Country File. Uh, very, very interesting. They were in Sheffield, and they were talking about the trees, and some people were objecting and saying, repair the roads and leave the trees alone, because it costs fortunes to take trees down. Peter Boy is watching. Peter Bahoy. So there you are, he calls himself Bahoy. I think he's a Hoops fan. Peter Bahoy. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Peter Bahoy. Good to have you with us. Thanks to every single one of you for joining in the week discussions on Scotty McClure's Facebook page. Tremendous. Uh, give us some thumbs up. Tap, 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 tap. And uh, tell 10, tell 10, tell 10, tell 10 about Scotty McClure. Live on Facebook Live, just for you, saying dinky-doo. Quite often we periscope after this as well, so there you are, very, very busy. Andrew Mackay, Scotty, I'm off. I'm up very early for work tomorrow. I'll watch the rest of the show tomorrow. Yes, you'll be able to see the rest of the show will be there. Thank you very much. Lots of thumbs up, lots of uh, kisses and hearts and hugs and, oh, there we go. That's the stuff. That's a bit better. I've got uh, about 130,000 hearts. Just going to wee sip of the barley water. Mmm. Oh, that's lovely. <clears throat> now, I know you hold the record for radio phone-ins, but I mind at Scott FM, you used to get folks to phone in on the telephone number and then hang up. Was that you working a fly one to jam the phone lines? No, Gordon Robertson. Absolutely the very, very reverse. We had 460,000 people tried to contact Scott FM radio in one week. That was on the official phone company printout. And um, that was when the chief engineer of the telephone company rang the station to say, excuse me, we're just inquiring, are you a business? 
So no with a radio station, he said, do you do competitions at 10 o'clock at night? Said no, Scotty's on. He went, Scotty McClure, fine enough, said. And it cost them, I think it was 75,000 quid. They took the hit, of course, to strengthen the network for Central Scotland for the Scott FM phone-in. And that's official. You'll see the press cuttings on it. There you are. Scotty, good to hear you, dude, says John Kearney. You too, John Kearney. Dinky doola. Lovely to have you with us. Time for me to go, Scotty. Dinky do. Until next time, it's always good to listen to a very wise man. Take care until next week, says Erica Meyer in Australia. Thanks, Erica. Dinky do. Love to the black swan, I say. I walked up the Ockles on Saturday, got caught with sleet and snow, and then the sun came out in the space of ten minutes. Ian Walker, what were you thinking of? There you are. I hope you didn't put yourself at risk. The Ockles are wonderful. I used to sit in my office when I started the radio station in Stirling. I used to sit in my office and look out at the Ockles, and it could change. Wow! Just like that. It was incredible. One Friday afternoon, I was watching it, and down came just this terrific grey, and then the snow. And then the sun came out, and there was a covering of snow, a powdering on top of the ochles. Amazing. <clears throat> so, out the hill fruits as well. Vodka and ginger beer, the ultimate roughneck drink when you're off the rigs, says Ian Walker. Nearly lights out. So it is, Ian. Yes, it's certainly share time. Share, 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 tell ten to tell ten to tell ten to tell ten about Scotty McClue, live on Facebook Live, that's the big one just for you, saying dinky do, and uh, lols as Ian Walker, of course, lol to you, uh, did you start Central FM, says God Robertson, I did Gordon, 27 years ago, I was the launch managing director, and uh, with a fantastic year out there, like all radio stations when they start off, obviously it's quite a struggle, but there's a radio station there that wasn't there before. And that's what you have to say to the doubting Thomases. When they go, oh, <laughs> hey, that will be right. I can remember when we were setting it all up and uh, people were saying, what is it you do yourself? Uh, what is it you're, you're working at? I said, we're setting up a new radio station. Oh, how we, how we, all that kind of stuff, seriously, there we go, <coughs> so yes, absolutely, Central FM, and it's still going good style, very, very popular radio station, 27 years later, how's that, dinky do, I say, that's a testament to everyone, from uh, the launch team, to the present day owners, to all the staff who have worked in Central FM over the years, dinky do. That's what I say. Uh, right, what is the time? My goodness me, time flies when you're enjoying yourselves. We've only got about 10 minutes until the end of the program. What a fantastic one it's been tonight. Now, can you all keep sharing? I want to get the audience up, didn't you do? Because one or two lazy people say, oh, well, you can catch it the next day. It's repeated. All that sort of stuff. You can get it on YouTube, all that idea. But you can't beat it live. Join in live. Dear Lawrence, I'm needing spare parts for a VW camper van, 1964-65. Do you have any down the lockup? Suspension needs new things. Well, there we are. Well, we'll put that out to uh, our chum Gordon from uh, East Lothian, and he'll tell us. Did you not own part of Clanfield FML 107? Yes, yes, at the time, Gordon. But um, unfortunately, we had a stewardship problem. And uh, that uh, that was a bit of a problem, and uh, unfortunately, we lost that radio station. It was about to close, and um, I managed to save that for a couple of years. So there you are. So I'm quite proud of that, but uh, it was uh, a very, very tough gig personally, uh, because, as I say, we had a stewardship problem. Uh, so there you are. Uh, before I forget, uh, in other words, I put up the money, and uh, the other person didn't put up his share of the money. So that's that. Stewardship problem, but there we are. How many radio stations have you worked for, Scotty? Quite a few, actually, I would say. Probably about 30 uh, or 35, even, if you take a lot of the syndications. Because remember, we used to go out on um, Liverpool, Sheffield, um, TFM, Radio City in Liverpool, we went out in Manchester, we went out in Preston, um, we went out in um, Yorkshire, 
right across Yorkshire on the magic stations as well as the FM stations. So they are huge, huge, huge. Century Radio, the three Century Radio stations, we put them together uh, starting in Millennium Night in 2000 and had millions on there. Fantastic, wonderful stuff. Um, Gordon Robertson, Clan FM, it was indeed in its day. How many radio stations? Yes, well, there you are. Take, Scotty, take care, Scotty, and stay healthy. Hell's bells, my friend. The internet's froze, says Mark Cleland. Yes, well, we are a very, very popular show, Mark, so there's bound to be pressure. The internet is actually older technology. If we were going out in a big FM signal, then you get it through the airwaves. But what you're trying to do is force all the information down one big pipe. So there you go. Scotty. Do you think you could have a phone in like Frisia, a psychologist? I'm quite sure I could, Ian. So there we are. Um, I mean, you've heard me in action, and we look after people who were not very well as well. We used to do that. We looked after people who were lonely. We looked after people who were very wealthy. We looked after people who were very poor. We looked after people, well, when I say poor and, and, and wealthy, I just mean in, in monetary terms. I mean, I don't have a lot of money, but I'm the richest man in the world. Fantastic. Uh, so there we are. So we could have any kind of phone in. There's absolutely no doubt about it. I would like to see Scotty McGlue going out on something like uh, one of the big BBC stations, say between 10 o'clock in the morning and 12 midday. Uh, we could hit the phones, do a bit of chat, play a bit of music, and um, you know just generally do the consumer magazine like we did on L107. Tremendous, the Scotty McGlue show. Uh, radio is... P-I-S-H these days. Oh, that would be like LOL, I suppose. Uh, compared to what it used to be, quite a couple of exceptions. BBC Radio 4 and LBC are good. I've never been on LBC, Gone Robinson. I've been on Radio 4 quite a lot. So there we are. Uh, thoroughly enjoy Radio 4, working at Radio 4. Tremendous. And, and of course, technically, it's outstanding. Radio 4 is one of these stations you can just leave on and listen to all day. Tremendous. Gordon Sterling for Diggy. Sorry, no camper van spares at the moment. I have an instrument cluster for a Volvo 264 in mint condition. Sold for parts not working. What, the instruments are not working of the car? The Volvo 264, big six-cylinder Volvo. Beautiful thing, actually. Great automatic. Uh, you can't beat it. Leather seats, of course. Who still uses internet in this day and age? Interface is the way to go. Windows 2235, says Ian Walker. So there you are. MGR is a good radio station, uh, says VJ. So there we go. Yes, there's lots of great radio stations. Great Yorkshire Radio is the one. Get yourselves onto Great Yorkshire Radio. Get yourselves onto YouTube, to Scott McClure's YouTube channel, and look up. Uh, Scott McClure talks about Great Yorkshire Radio. And uh, that's probably the one for everybody out there. Um, so excellent stations, so there's no doubt about it. So, but we could have any kind of phone in. Get on to Babe Station, Scotty, says Rab Hill. Thanks very much, Rab. Very much appreciated. Um, I do admire your faith. Uh, <laughs> would you phone me? Uh, do you not? Are they not phone-ins? <laughs> I don't really know very much about it, but it sounds, uh, sounds amazing. So there we are. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, how are we doing for time? Oh, my goodness me. We're very, very short on time. Uh, let's have another share, 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 share. On housekeeping, of course, uh, if you can uh, spare a couple of pounds for Scotty McClue, just help out with advertising, little bits for the programming, all that. Get yourselves on to PayPal. You'll see it on the Scotty McClue website, www.scotty-mcclue.com. Or you can go on to gofundme.com forward slash scotty hyphen mcclue and pop something into the 460 pounds that's already there. Or age station, Scotty says Ian Walker. Yes, I'm a little bit young for that, Ian. I've got a career plan on the go. I plan to work for uh, at least another 25 years and then look at early retirement. Look at it. So there we are. Uh, hi, Scotty. What do you think about mental health? Uh, I don't think it deserves the stigma that comes from it. Well, remember this, Tony. I'm about to tell you something here, right? Mental health is not a result of, or mental ill health is not a result of weakness. It's usually a result of staying strong for far too long. Okay? 
and dealing with all the different things. Of course, you have conditions, your various conditions that manifest themselves in a whole variety of ways. But if somebody um, has a mental breakdown, it's not a weakness. It's staying strong for far too long. So there you are. Uh, I take it you've watched Babe Station, says Steve Burrows. No, I haven't watched it. I've seen it on the listings. So there you go. And uh, it says to give them a ring. Uh, before you go on, a tune in the box, please, Scotty. So Diggy Lawrence. Diggy, I don't have the box up with me. Or I would, of course, be delighted to do that. Uh, is BBC Radio Scotland not about to split its AM and FM completely? You should drop off your CV to Pacific Key. There's a nice rhyme for you. Drop your CV to the BBC at Pacific Key. If they need references, you'll get the whole country giving you a great reference. Absolutely, Gordon Robertson. Um, so it might be an idea to do that because I'm sure we could uh, really raise the figures. I think they run on about 9%. And a station like that should be running on about 15%. Uh, minimum, minimum. Big link between poverty and mental health problems, says Leslie Monroe. Absolutely, Leslie. Very, very fair point there. Good night and dinky do, says Ron Stewart. Good night to you, Ron Stewart. Take great care of yourselves. Dance with your granny and your auntie Fanny, says Wadge. Right across the floor. When you get to the other side, shut the door. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Uh, Tony, do I know you, or are you my uncle, says Ian Walker. <laughs> Good night and dinky do, Ron. Take care of yourself. Lovely to uh, have had you with us. Always very nice. Forever do comes and joins Scotty McClue, dinky do, on a Sunday night for one hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment. I'm just wondering if I could probably do a runner and get the box for you. So there we are. I might just try that. Uh, good morning from Sydney in Australia, says Ali Haining. Dinky do, Ali. Ali, it's all right in Australia to call people mate, but I'd like to ban it from Scotland. I really would. Uh, Scotland, what you said about mental health has just brought a tear to my eye, says Gordon Robertson. Well, it's true, Gordon. So there you are. Always remember that. It's not a weakness. It's a result of staying strong for far too long. Um, you're the best of the rest, says Wedge. Think you do, Wedge. Lovely to have you with us, of course. Shall I do a runner for the squeeze box? Would you like that? <laughs> All that kind of stuff. Now, uh, fair point, sir, says Ali Haining. Yes. Aye, go and get the box, says Gordon Robertson. I might just do that, right? So, now don't you go away. If I come back and find you've all done a runner, there'll be big problems. Right, now, did you do a run or you lot? Are you still there? Right, we've got the box. So what we'll do, we'll just see what's what. We want the box. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, here we go. This is for my pal Doogie. number for you just to cheer you all up we're gonna wear a baron's ear and uh, who have we got there the boxers and the servants quarters 
Uh, so there we are. An elephant has hit a bus in Thailand, says Michael McGuigan. Sorry to hear that. Can I be in your band, says VJ. Of course. I'm still here, says Colin Brown. Good for you. I think everybody's still here that was here. That's tremendous. And we had a tune in the box as well. I didn't know you could play two tunes backwards simultaneously, says Gordon Robertson. I know. Sounds like a pipe band falling downstairs. But there you are. You did ask. And uh, you get what you ask for. Uh, why is the box doing at your feet? Is it a shoe box? Oh, Ian Walker, aren't you quite the wee comedian tonight? Class Scotty, says Mark Cleland. I thank you very much, Mark. Very much appreciated. Excellent stuff. Thanks for the show, Scotty. And dinky do till the next one. Uh, Scotty, you'll end up getting an asthma. And oh, the lady upstairs will be going daft. Sorry about that, hen. So there you go. Uh, great, says Wedge. Excellent stuff. Now then, how are we doing for time? We're out of time. Tremendous to have you all with us tonight. Thank you very much. Right round the world, we've had a good old smattering of international dum. And we say take great care of yourselves wherever you are in the world. Remember, there is only one race, the human race. You can only have a problem if you've got them and us. We are just us. This is Scotty McClue saying to every single one of you, thank you very much for watching. And dinky do. I'll sing you the song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of wheat or zane. Au revoir and a cheerio. Dinky-doo, everybody, and cheerio. Scotty McClue has left the building.